right, what do you got, Aaron? So last year there was some type of debacle, uh, and it was about a tuna cake. Frankie thought that cake right there was a tuna cake because Alan wrote in Magic Marker that it was a tuna cake. And I so believe after everything a I read. While of bitching, I said you can't be serious, and he still didn't know what was going on. And then finally, we told him it wasn't tuna cake. This year I made that cake right here. Let me looks delicious. It smells delicious until we cut into it. I can't it. smell anything. That is the actual tuna cake. Uh, it's been crafted. Instead of using water, I used tuna juice. One and one fourth cup uh, <laughs> tuna juice. And then there are also three cups of, uh, three actual cans of tuna that's been mixed into the batter. Three tuna. Oh, wow. Uh, no one's laughing. No one's laughing anymore. <laughs> it's serious business. Did you watch it get made? But yes, I did. I smelled it, actually. It's it. horrible. Mike and I were feeling sick to our stomachs because it was so disgusting the smell. So, I'm interested if anybody will actually take a bite of it. Well, I'd like to give it a shot. Oh, I don't know how you're going to do it, but I'll, I'll videotape it. <laughs> Does somebody have a knife that we can cut into it? I, I wanted to cut it, and you know, know how you normally cut cake and it's nice and smooth? <laughs> it went down a little bit, and it stopped. <laughs> that was too much weight. Is that a joke? Three cans and a cup and a quarter of tuna juice. So who's eating this? I will. <laughs> What is that weird black guy between the two layers? <laughs> yeah, that's when I when I was cutting. That's where okay, it stopped. You guys ready? All right, so oh, no. you can't smell it because I can smell it. I can smell it. Bombs away. Oh, it's like tuna all around here. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> so I instead of I called it, and I used three cans of tuna. So what happened? Cans. So what went into it? The recipe called for a cup and a quarter of water. Order. It's, it's not like, like no water. Oh, it I squoze the juice out of like four cans of tuna to get a cup and a quarter, and I measured it out, and I used that instead of water. What do you mean water. the recipe? Well, the, the box recipe for the regular can. Oh, okay. And then I used uh, two cans of tuna of actual the actual meat, and I mixed it in with the, the batter. Uh -huh. So the meat is mixed in between that batter right over there, and it smells like tuna. If you want to go up to it and smell this it, I can smell it. You're not actually eating the whole piece, are you? You'll be dead within the hour. There's John Hunt, master of ceremony. Only one slice has been taken. Come on, man, that's huge. That is a large that's piece a of cake. That's a reasonably sized piece of cake. I don't think that's reasonable, I gotta be honest. Would you like an ice cream to go with it? <laughs> you know what? Give me a little ice cream. <laughs> Give me a little ice cream. Be before you actually bite into it, are you gonna smell it? and? No, I, I think I should just be shocked. I think you should swish it around in your mouth like a wine tasting. What, what the fuck is this? I couldn't tell you. I had to put nothing in the middle between the two layers. The frosting should be completely normal. Deception. If I, if I do that, is that you should get. Factor? There should be some tuna meat in there. You should get some hint of tuna meat. Yeah, there should be some tuna meat in there. All right. Did you smell the piece yet? No, I won't do that. Okay. It's really not. Three, two, one. Do you, do you taste anything? It's just bad. <laughs> okay, let me go for this diarrhea down the center. Can somebody find an actual piece of tuna in there? Because two uh, cans worth of meat. You should be able to find chunks of tuna like in there. Two days worth of meat? Two cans uh, worth of meat. I was like, what the fuck did you do? Two days! doing so much more than dusting. <laughs> the, I, I can only imagine this is the worst part of it. Uh, later on, whatever's not eaten is going in the fire. <laughs> You know what actually takes any texture or like chunks of tuna meat? I don't know how that's possible. What it's happened just, to all that tuna? A, it was disintegrated. <laughs> that tuna disintegrated. It's covered in cake shit. We'll take off the frosting and try to find some pieces, please. It's mo- uh, I feel, uh, okay. <laughs> there it goes, it goes down. Now you've got to smell it to give you a, Does it smell like tuna? Not really. Wow, just the thought of it later on made me want to vomit. It. <laughs> it was expensive frosting. The pink, the pink stuff alone was $4, not including the white Somebody stuff. Else, take a hit of it. Who would like a piece? Tuna cake! Tuna Apparently I could have served it as normal dessert and just been like, wow, Aaron's a bad baker. Why won't you have any? The thought right is making me want to vomit. Really Before I left the house, I might have had a little bit of alcohol. Well, give What'd you have? Uh, four loco in about 2.5 minutes. So equivalent to six beers. Yeah. And as I was drinking my last few sips, it was pretty disgusting as it is. I thought about the tuna cake for a brief second. I got the smell and I almost vomited. Alright, so Nina just got a nice big honking piece of it. <laughs> I gotta smell this one more time. It smells good. Oh. <laughs> this right here is a piece of tuna. What white cake batter did you find? Chunks of tuna like that in it. Take a take a hit off that. All right, Nina, hit it. Don't be a puss. You should have had to see pieces yeah, of see the, fibers see of flesh the, like, in your cake. Fibers of tuna. <laughs> Right? Who was I fooling? I should have added. I should have made tuna cupcakes. Fred, there it goes. A big bite. I'm pretty for sure some I reason. nothing but tuna. <laughs> Molded to be a cupcake. Is it really that bad? <laughs> I didn't think it was that bad. Can you close See, your I, mouth? You know, I'm in your boat. I feel like it'd be that. <laughs> Shut it out! Shut it out! Shut it out! <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>
That is a normal reaction to what that thing is. You want me to see if I can find you a bottle of water so you can rinse your mouth? Nina's puking. So what? So what happened? No, you don't. <laughs> see, that's how I feel. I what really the fuck do. is I it? Like she threw the plate. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What do you mean what happened? There's tuna in that cake! <laughs> There's tuna in that cake! This woman's been poisoned! There's tuna in that cake! <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't 100 percent tuna. Look what you did to Nina. You lost Look your wife. Look what you did. <laughs> Who's gonna marry me now? You? <laughs> I guess I have to. She hit a bone. She won. <laughs> I filleted that tuna myself. <laughs> filleted it myself. I'm not gonna let anybody else eat the tuna cake. That's it. <laughs> Are we putting a ban on tuna cake? He's shutting this project down. The cake's going on the fire. Don't worry, Nina. It's going on the fire along with your remains after you passed away. <laughs> It'll be like Darth, Darth Vader's burial. You're gonna appear as a spirit form and so will the tuna cake. You'll be nodding and smiling. <laughs> it's like we were talking about boogers or something. Like Don't talk about boogers right now. <laughs> now it was on an app time. <laughs> now we're on the cusp of the moment. I no, was fine, I, and when then... I dumped cans worth of it in there, I was thinking it was so disgusting seeing that pink meat go throughout the just disappear as I kept whisking away. <laughs> How does Matt like it? Look, I didn't like it, but I, I could easily stomach See, uh, it. I'm where Nina is. I feel like I just... Ugh. You better fucking take a bite of that thing. After five hot dogs, there's no way I'm taking a do bite it. of that right now. One bite. I do not want five hot dogs. I want to see you vomit on my table. I don't want to see... Bucks make you no. Oh. Me vomiting is not a fun thing. Are you okay, Nina? Nina's inside puking. More. <laughs> This is the second time I've seen like We have a fire here. We've decided to destroy the cake once and for all. It can't get away tonight. But we're gonna douse it with some gasoline. I feel like I've had some experience in this, this field. <laughs> I've had a dream about this before. It'll it'll burn as long as there's a little bit of gasoline. We're looking for a cup so we can douse the tuna cake. It might be a little bit harder to pour the gasoline into the water bottle. Alright, take it easy everyone. You alright, Nane? Tuna cake backlash? <laughs> and you can make a small hole inside the middle of a cake and fill it. That's probably the best. <laughs> Time release it? You're gonna go down in history as the tuna cake bomber. God, Don't make the holes nice. too deep, that way it goes on the plate. We'll never get this plate clean though. If the plate has to go, it has to go. I like that plate. I know, but there's gonna be gasoline. Good plate. Do you wanna say a few words? Gasoline, tuna, and God knows what else. Holy crap, Alan. <laughs> can you believe what we're doing right now? Because I can't. <laughs> it's absorbing that gasoline. If somebody told me today I would be pouring gasoline into a tuna cake, I'd have said they were bonkers. Look, it's not even filling up in any way. It's just absorbing into the... I got this recipe on the Food Network, Julie Child. So the concept is that as soon as you throw it into the fire, everyone dies. There's enough of the frosting, right? Because the frosting is what's going to put it out. There should be a little bit of... We should have a little bit extra on the side in case the uh, fire starts to die. Yeah. That we, you can That's give it a little bit of... Uh, we're not side. confident that the cake is filled with gasoline yet. I don't even know how to put that in the fire. Just throw the whole thing. Plate, uh, plate, plate it, it all. Plate it, it all. Plate it all. Honestly, who's going to eat off a plate full of gasoline after this point? It's a cake bomb. Plate. The cake is alive. Hi, Kyle. <laughs> Alan, I'd throw it in about from that far away. Yeah, Is it nice to push it off? Your plate! Something happened! Yeah, because it's gonna be like dynamite. <laughs> Stand back! Finish it, Alan! Don't let it live after this point! It'll only come back stronger! <laughs> <laughs> Die, cake! <laughs> it's still it, it's still fine. This was our trip to the 2011 rapture. Zach, what are you doing? You're an animal! The cake leaps up and eats him. <laughs> Loses an arm. What? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Keith are crazy. I thought maybe people would like another log in the fire. <laughs> I, I'm starting to see more of the tuna. <laughs> you think that's all that's going to be left when Frosty it's all done? It's a can of tuna? Like... Melty frosting. It's kind of like Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> <laughs> that's much would better than like newspaper. Would you like a slice then? <laughs> tuna cake. Yeah, 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 so <laughs> tuna cake. <laughs> that's not even the strangest thing this place Go ahead, put it on there. Because the cake seems to be sustaining a flame, so... <laughs> 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 Well, <laughs> It'll be as hot as Cheesecake Factory plates. <laughs> you put it out. You had to. You ruined the cake fun. I've never seen a cake go out that fast. Usually they won't stop. Usually when I soak a cake in gasoline. <laughs> Normally it goes better than that. Gas and fish. Things that should not be in a cake. Gas fish cake. Bon appetit. Oh, you ruined it! Right. <laughs> right. There goes your plate, Michael. There goes this plate. Plate breaking song. Hey, Garrett, <laughs> show up. Hold the herald and you'll see glory to the newborn king. 
throw yourself in. <laughs> <laughs>